And the curfew just kicking in tonight on the hike and bike trail along Lady Bird Lake. But starting this Saturday, you'll be able to keep fit 24 hours a day. Today, the police department's park unit announced a four-month pilot program covering the Lady Bird Lake hike and bike trail, the Shoal Creek Greenbelt Trail, and the Johnson Creek Greenbelt Trail. KXAN's Robert Maxwell joining us live from Auditorium Shores with more on the plan and how police will protect you. Yeah, the goal here, of course, is to ensure public safety during lower visibility hours. That's how police term it. I mean, take a look around here. A little bit down the trail live, nothing but the dark of night. In the bright light of day, Carla Castanayos applauds Austin for keeping up its reputation as a fit and accessible city even after the sun sets. I love it, uh, especially during the summer when the weather's so warm, um, late at night, you know, it'd be nice to be able to take the dogs out and bring them out here at any time. The strategy is to populate the trails with four to six police officers overnight on bike and on horseback, possibly more on weekends. An added benefit, the open nighttime trails create a riding oasis for urban cyclists. This will give that extra option for the bicyclists to uh, um, ride on the trails and they can uh, uh, ride safely and get to their destination uh, without having to mix with the traffic during the night. The cost of the pilot project, $350,000. Most of that money will pay for overtime for officers to work this lakeside beat. If it's working after the pilot period, the question of adding more lighting will be brought to city council. It could mean a bond vote down the line. You've been out here, buddy? The pilot project for 24-hour trails starts June 1st and runs through September. Ultimately, a permanent open trail policy could make downtown living even more attractive to those who live there. I definitely like that. It's, it's good because people have something to do at night. Um, a lot of people here work late hours, so when they get off of work, they want to take their dog out, and it's, it's a great place to have something like this. And back here live, we can tell you that City Council's been talking for a little bit about extending trail hours, so depending on how this pilot project goes, it could influence that decision. Meantime, police tell us that normally they sweep these trails around midnight and then go back to their other patrols on surface streets and elsewhere around the city, away from the hike and bike network. The curfew right now, by the way, just passed. It's about 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Of course, after Saturday, it'll be 24-7. We're live down on the Lady Bird Hike and Bike Trail in downtown Austin. Robert Maxwell, KXAN News. Robert. Thank you. Further north in Williamson County, there's a move to design an alternate regional trail route. Williamson County and the city of Cedar Park held an open house tonight for this plan for Champion Park. It's part of a bigger effort to modernize the Brushy Creek Lake Dam. Officials say the project will increase access to Champion Park. 